On the 25th of January 2020, Hype Sri Lanka was introduced to the National Youth Empowerment System as the country's first youth empowerment incubator, which aims to act as a catalyst for inclusive and sustainable youth development. The official launch of Hype Sri Lanka and associated interactive stakeholder discussion was a gathering of over 30 youth organizations, voluntary social service organizations, non-governmental organizations and state organizations responsible for promoting inclusive and sustainable youth development in Sri Lanka. At this event, Hype Sri Lanka introduced the novel concept of youth empowerment incubation to the country. as an alternative approach for youth empowerment the department of policy formulation of the organization presented an independent working paper for a model youth policy for sri lanka as a first step of the organization's commitment to further inclusive and sustainable youth development since then hype sri lanka has experienced a humble journey of streamlining youth development in sri lanka Here is the impact we made in Sri Lanka in our first year of operations. After 8 months of focus group discussions with youth leaders and the internal team of Hype Sri Lanka, the organization introduced a comprehensive constitution which serves as the governing document of the incubator. This constitution now serves as a model core document for fellow youth organizations to formulate their own codes of administration. and is freely accessible on our website www.hypesl.org Hype Sri Lanka supported the fellow volunteer organization Citizens execute solving the peace puzzle a critical stakeholder discussion on achieving a sustainable peace in Sri Lanka It brought together youth leaders and experts on social justice for a productive discussion on the role of the youth in achieving sustainable peace in Sri Lanka. The event was organized in celebration of the International Day of Peace. A signature initiative of Hype Sri Lanka is the Hype Policy Tank. This is an independent volunteer-run think tank which aims to facilitate the youth policy formulation cycle of Sri Lanka by increasing youth participation in top-level youth empowerment dialogue. The independent policy thinkers of the Hype Policy Tank collected data through surveys and formulated reports on a host of topics related to youth development, ranging from readiness of the education system of the country to face national crises like the COVID-19 global pandemic to the prevalence of cyberbullying in Sri Lanka. In line with the second key objective of youth empowerment incubation, The Department of Capacity Building of Hype Sri Lanka runs Project Nexus. Project Nexus is a unique collaboration platform which connects the stakeholders of the National Youth Development Framework for intra-cluster and inter-cluster networking. There are currently 65 youth organizations and voluntary social service organizations registered with Project Nexus who operate within 27 clusters. The incubator ventured to appoint a team of district coordinators who will localize the Project Nexus platform at a district level. Hype Sri Lanka cordially invites all youth organizations and VSSOs operating across the country to join the Project Nexus platform to build sustainable partnerships with fellow youth development stakeholders. The inclusion portfolio of Hype Sri Lanka is overseen by the Department of Disabled and Vulnerable Communities representation. The work carried out by this department is a reminder that inclusivity is a core pillar of any sustainable youth development effort. The first major undertaking of this department was the appointment of an expert panel to formulate a module on disability sensitization. aimed at sensitizing the stakeholders of the national youth development system to persons with disabilities the department then ventured to organize a webinar on sensitizing the public systems and administrative authorities of sri lanka to persons with disabilities in partnership with enable lanka foundation and under the patronage of next campus The rapture report of this webinar was shared with key state and non-state stakeholders of the local disability empowerment framework 
and served as the basis for several focus group discussions on the subject. The third notable initiative of the department is the social media campaign in celebration of the International Day of Disabled Persons. This campaign featured eight videos under the tagline of Let's Talk Disability and 14 posters titled Know the Disability. The purpose of the campaign was to combat myths surrounding disability in Sri Lanka through the spread of awareness on the reality of being disabled. Let's catch a glimpse of the Let's Talk Disability video series. Almost all my friends are not disabled. I met some of them in school, some of them in campus, and my previous places of work, etc. etc. Well, I do have a lot of friends, good friends, who are persons with disabilities. But I also have a lot of friends who are persons who do not identify as people with disabilities. Together with Peace First, Hype Sri Lanka organized Sri Lanka Virtual Labs, which featured two workshops on project management. The purpose of the workshops was to guide participating social workers and youth leaders on creating productivity systems which drive real development impact at a community level. In celebration of the Mental Health Awareness Week, Chocolat organized an online campaign on combating cyberbullying in Sri Lanka. Hype Sri Lanka served as the campaign partner and formulated a report on the reforms needed to counter bullying. This outcome document was disseminated amongst key civil society and state actors proactively working towards combating bullying and abuse of vulnerable groups in the country. To combat the rise of hate speech and disinformation relating to the recent parliamentary elections which took place amidst the COVID-19 global pandemic, Hype Sri Lanka, together with the Civic Voter Education Working Group, organized the online Civic Education Awareness Campaign on hate speech and disinformation during parliamentary elections 2020. The bilingual videos and posters centered around the experiences of a group of young friends reached over 26,000 viewers and was shared on several online platforms. Here is a snippet from the first video, The Story of Our Gang. Nidagan hit up with Dimutu Herune, Eagi phone negative message to Kakawasate. Phone Nika Balanakotama, Eagi Alu said to come in Gangsters two thousand WhatsApp group picket, messages Sahanagana Kevit. Kauru hurry forward Kerapo message Jakakata, Yalu Godak the Nick reply Kala. A message Jaki Tibune, Mativar Neda, Sanghidhanat Maka, Corona Bokirimi Utsaha Ketibaba, Puat Pat Kipe, Varta Kai. Hype Sri Lanka served as the local partner for Sri Lanka for the global COVID-19 project at the intersection of gender and disability organized by Women Enabled International in partnership with the United Nations Population Fund. Three national stakeholder consultations were organized with women with disabilities and persons from the LGBTQIA community in Sri Lanka to learn about the first-hand experiences of such vulnerable communities due to the global pandemic. A rapporteur report containing the findings of the three consultations was formulated and published to generate productive discourse on the impact of pandemic situations on women with disabilities and sexual minorities. The incubator was privileged to co-sponsor a site event at the Conference of State Parties to the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities in support of the Women Enabled International and the United Nations Population Fund. The side event titled COVID-19 Project at the Intersection of Gender and Disability, Ensuring a Disability and Gender Inclusive Response and Recovery, was held virtually on the 1st of December 2020. It featured a panel discussion led by experts in the fields of disability and gender inclusivity. The Sri Lankan viewpoint was represented by Nilu Kagunavardhana, who is the Disability Advisor for Hype Sri Lanka. 
capitalizing the power of e-advocacy, Hype Sri Lanka organized two online advocacy initiatives known as the hashtag Youth Needs Campaigns. The purpose of these campaigns were to connect with political leaders via social media and to communicate the expectation of the youth on pressing socio-economic, political and cultural issues. The first campaign took place on International Youth Day. The youth of Sri Lanka were invited to hold up signs containing personal expectations from the incoming parliament of Sri Lanka to be appointed in August 2020. The second campaign was organized in celebration of International Human Rights Day and drew attention to the universal human rights which the youth of Sri Lanka wished to see in the fundamental rights chapter of the proposed Third Republican Constitution of Sri Lanka. In an effort to facilitate youth participation in top-level youth empowerment, the Department of Youth Advocacy and Activism of Hype Sri Lanka began the Youth Public Proposal series. A youth public proposal contains key recommendations and provisions on reforming, changing or solving a pressing problem or challenge of the status quo. Two youth public proposals have been formulated by appointed subcommittees and submitted to the expert committees appointed by the Ministry of Justice of Sri Lanka. The first is the youth public proposal on potential provisions for the Third Republican Constitution of Sri Lanka, which was submitted to the expert committee for drafting a new constitution. The second is the youth public proposal on potential reforms to the commercial law of Sri Lanka, which was presented to the commercial law reform subcommittee special unit. The journey thus far motivates Hype Sri Lanka to continue its service of changing the paradigms of youth development by increasing parallel participation of the youth in top-level and grassroots-level youth empowerment processes. The incubator is a testament to the power of a group of youth with an unwavering belief of their collective capacity to create sustainable frameworks for inclusive and effective youth development. Stay connected with Hype Sri Lanka through our online platforms and join hands with the country's only youth empowerment incubator, streamlining the macro system for youth development.